I'm Alan Taylor. My buddy Scott Duffy and I are in search of the best burger in America. Each month we visit a new city to try some of the top restaurants, pubs, and brew houses while sitting down for a candid conversation with some of the top entrepreneurs, athletes, entertainers, and celebrities. I don't know about you, but I love talking business over a burger. Welcome to Business and Burgers. Today, we're heading over to West Hollywood to a SoCal staple, Barney's Beanery. Barney's is steeped in history. From the table where Janis Joplin had her last meal to a glass eyeball that was lost in a bet, Barney's is filled with a thousand stories. And today, we're going to add a business and burger story to this iconic restaurant that has served the people of Los Angeles for almost 100 years. Joining us is filmmaker, keynote speaker, and number one best-selling author, Greg Reed. Greg has spent the last 10 years of his life going straight to the source to find the secret to success. He's interviewed countless millionaires and billionaires and extracted from them the tips and advice every entrepreneur needs to succeed. Through his books and top-rated events, Greg passes this coveted advice to the masses to fulfill his goal of helping others succeed and find their purpose. What in the world are you guys looking There's at? There's so much <laughs> history here. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Man, I'm glad you're not standing in the rain. You drown. <laughs> You know, Barney's Beanery, it's actually a, a historic location, mm -hmm. and was was the end, was the very end at one point of Route 66. Mm. After here, it was just dirt road to the beach. So this whole wall is license plates of people that came here, traveled across the country, wow. ran out of cash, and used these license plates as collateral for food. But it actually, it gets even cooler. So, okay, see this eyeball up here? What? Okay, so this is an actual fake eyeball. And there was somebody years ago that was playing pool. So wow. what he did is he literally took out his fake eye and put it down on the table and he lost. And so what they did is they took that eye, they hammered it into the ceiling. <laughs> and so the last thing is really cool. We know this guy. Yeah. He's got a whole lot of wisdom and he's helped a lot of people with that great wisdom. And his brand new book is right there. <laughs> <laughs> And oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that All right, great. so wait, wait, start. Here's here's a pen. Hold on. I have a chair yep. right here for you. That is great. Okay. Are you saying I'm short? I can't I, read. I can't yeah. read. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. So. That's amazing. Dude, right. how cool is that? Am I here for a job interview or something? I mean. No, no. Listen, we test out the newest gear on the market. What is period. going on? I've never seen things. You look like you're like the FBI or well, something. Well, you know what? Look, if you don't like it, you just tear it apart. What? Right? Yeah. No. That's amazing. I mean, we've got to use the best stuff on the market. The reason why is that we got hacked and destroyed last year. Right? Yeah, actually, true story. So, Business and Burgers, we got hacked, hacked our website, wow. got into a lot of different things, and basically um, held it all up for ransom. This is a, a crazy fact, is that over 70% of small businesses get hacked. And here's here's the crazier part. The average data breach, security breach, mm. costs $400,000. Absolutely crazy. And you're telling me that this device is gonna help prevent that? This is the new uh, Samsung Galaxy Book running Windows 10 Pro. Yeah. So what we've done is we've moved everything to Windows 10 Pro, primarily for the security reasons. Because, I mean, imagine you're a small business. With a, who can afford a $400,000 data breach? Not only that, I've got a couple photographs out there I don't want to leak, so I mean, <laughs> you, you gotta do whatever you got. I gotta run for office one day, right? <laughs> so, all right, so Greg, tell tell everybody where you grew up. I knew you grew up in the mean street somewhere. And, oh man, it was a rough life actually growing up. I grew up in the mean streets of a place called Del Mar, California. Yeah. Little beach town community in Southern California. And, it was a blessing to say the least. Absolutely amazing. And talk to me about the Napoleon Hill Foundation. Well, a lot of people don't know this, but he started at 13 years old, writing articles for the local high school you know, magazine and newspaper. And he had a quote. He says, if I couldn't find some you know, stories, I just make them up. <laughs> he was a wordsmith, he was a crafty guy. So there's a storage facility that Napoleon Hill Foundation has. It's basically a, a bunch of uh, warehouses full of product that no one's ever seen that he's been writing since he was 13 years old. But wow. who is he? What? Well, everyone knows he wrote the 20th best-selling book in the history of the world, Think and Grow Rich. Mm -hmm. uh, but as a young aspiring magazine reporter back in 1908, he gained access to the richest man of the world, Andrew Carnegie, who started U.S. Steel Corporation. And he gave an opportunity. He says, work for me for free 
for 20 years and I'll send you on a mission to meet all my friends and you'll write the first ever formula for success. Well, the funny thing is Carnegie made that same offer to over 250 men before Napoleon Hill. Most people don't grasp a golden opportunity when they have the chance. But you are now continuing that with the foundation, right? Correct. Well, I'm writing the Think and Grow Rich series. So basically we're modernizing and updating the principles found in this classic gem. And what we're doing is instead of going to people that, you know, Napoleon Hill spoke to over a hundred years ago, you might not recognize her name, but you know what NASCAR is or Remax or String Theory or today's iconic figures. So I have an opportunity to sit down with them and pick their brains to find out what they're doing for personal achievement. So I've known you forever. In the past 10 years, what I've seen you do is you travel all over the world and you meet with people that are the very best of the best at whatever it is they do. What's the number one thing that you think holds people back? You know, it's interesting. Napoleon Hill always talked about the six ghosts of fear in Think and Grow Rich. And I think the biggest fear people have that holds them back is the fear of criticism, what other people will think. The big question is, what would you do if you didn't mind what other people thought? Would you take a chance? Would you ask a person out for a date? Would you start that new business? And I think if we could stop worrying about what other people would think, we'd start taking more action with those crazy ideas we have. And that's where the miracle lies. Did you ever have that problem, worrying about what other people thought about you? Yes, of course. I believe we all have a little bit of self-doubt in our life. Right. But I remember an interview with another motivational giant. His name was Brian Tracy. And I asked him, I said, what's it like being you? And he says, well, don't be me. Don't be all these other people, just be yourself. So that's how I started showing up. And that's where all this amazing things started happening. Mm. Wow. So how did you overcome it then? Owning it. Mm. Owning it. I finally one day looked in the mirror and said, hey, you're the best you you can be. I don't have to be somebody else. And as soon as I stepped into my own space, you know, amazing things started coming my way. It's almost a floodgate. All right, I want to know, out of all these interviews, what's your favorite? Well, it's like picking your favorite child, but it'd have to be uh, Marty Cooper, inventor of the cellular phone. And I wrote a book called Stickability, The Power to Persevere. And I said, what does stickability mean to you? And he looks at me and said, stickability has to be parallel with flexibility. You have to adapt and adjust or you get stuck. And he told this story about a spider monkey. And the rainforest is so quick, nimble, you can't catch it. One hunter figured it out. He took a heavy log, drilled a tiny hole, dropped a peanut inside and walked away. The monkey would smell the nut, come down, reach his hand in, and his fist becomes so big, once he grabs a hold of the nut, he can't pull it back out and become anchored to the log. Now all he's gotta do is let go, but he thinks that nut is nutrition, it's saving him. Right. The hunter comes back an hour later, captures the elusive spider monkey. The big question is, are we holding on to our own nut in life? But it could be in the form of a job or a car or a deal or a relationship. And what we think is saving us right now, just like the monkey thought the nut was, could be the single thing that's leading to our own demise. Sometimes you have to have the courage to let go so you can live to fight another day. I see the burgers coming now. All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, AJ. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Wow, that smells absolutely delicious. Mm. Beautiful. Today, the beanery is serving up Barney's ultimate burger. Applewood smoked bacon, caramelized onion, tomato, arugula, blue cheese, and a juicy beef patty. And it's all slathered in Barney's special sauce. Delicious. We came hungry. Just try and keep us from these burgers. We'll be right back for these tasty burgers after a word from our sponsors. I'm Alan Taylor and this is Scott Duffy. We are Business and Burgers. We're here at Barney's Beanery. It's been here since 1920. And you know what? As old as this place is, we've got the newest technology from Samsung because we have to keep up with the latest gear. We do. And today we have the Samsung Galaxy Book running Windows 10 Professional. This is such an amazing mobile device to take on the road. And you and I, we're on the road. We are road Ooh. warriors. Are we on the road? With Samsung Flow technology, I can be using my Galaxy Book and I can also be using my smartphone and running Samsung Flow technology, here's what these devices will do. They'll auto-sync and push notifications in real time between one another. They'll automatically activate a hotspot so you're never without an internet connection. And like, think about that. Think about being on your two-in-one, you can't find a Wi-Fi, your phone knows that using Samsung Flow technology, and now you're always connected. You gotta love that. It's an amazing feature. The other thing I love is the Galaxy Book Pen. It's included with this device. And you don't have to charge it. You not only don't have to charge it, but this pen features tilt recognition technology, which makes it so much easier to write on your two-in-one device. And he takes a lot of notes. I take a lot of notes. Yeah. Not only does the Samsung Galaxy Book ship with Windows 10 Pro, it's fast charging, has a full-day battery, is powered by Intel Core i5 with a 
12.1 inch AM OLED display and has an expandable micro SD memory of up to 256 gigabytes. The new Galaxy Book with Windows 10 Pro is now available at SHI to order. SHI is the leader of information technology products and services. And don't forget about their Zero Touch program. If you are a company with multiple devices, open the box and the machine configures itself for you automatically. This includes data migration and remote support, making it easy to deploy and maintain your company's Windows 10 devices. Very sleek, very light. And you know what, Scott? I think this is a real game changer. It is. So order today from SHI. Complete with a newly redesigned detachable backlit keyboard, a tilt recognition S Pen, and Windows 10 Pro, the Samsung Galaxy Book is designed to impress. So Greg, I really love what you're talking about here. I love the spider monkey story. I love the fact that you talked about how people care too much about what other people think about them. But opinions are so important to people. I mean, social media blows up because of somebody's opinion of somebody else. How do entrepreneurs get past that? I think it comes down to what you're trying to ask is about mentorship. You know, where do you get the right information in the right order? Right. And one of the greatest takeaways ever is this. The difference between success and failure is successful people seek counsel where failures listen to opinion. So give me an example of how you apply that. Well, that's why we started my event called Secret Knock. The whole concept is you can find a million, you know, personal development, self-help, boom shakalaka events out there, and they are filled with coaches and teachers and mentors. But what I did is something different. I just brought in the actual source. So if you want to start a nonprofit, we bring in Frank Shankowitz, founder of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I, I think that sometimes people are so close to being successful before they decide to quit. And, and I remember there was a story in Think and Grow Rich, and you wrote a book, which is on the, on the <laughs> ceiling here now, called Three Feet from Gold. So Three Feet from Gold is taken from the first chapter of Think and Grow Rich, where a gold miner gave up three feet away from the largest strike. And this is a true story. True story. And, yeah. But it happens in everyday activity. We quit one class short from a degree, or sales, or marriage, or marketing. It's easy to quit. But it's the people that persevere and go three feet more, they're the ones that we tell the stories about. It's the people that have something called stickability that become the champions of all. You mentioned stickability. What does that mean to you? Well, stickability means the power to persevere. You keep your eye on the prize, but you have the adaptability to find the solution. For example, I had a chance to sit down with the creator of uh, Chick-fil-A, Chewy Cathy, and I asked him a simple question. How do you become a billionaire? Because I want to become one too. And he said, stop planning. Last year, you had a lot of plans. I go, yeah. He goes, how did that work out for you? He goes, you'll hit a goal, but how it came to fruition wasn't as you expect. He goes, look for and capitalize on unexpected opportunity. Mm. Have stickability, what you know what you want, but the flexibility to make it happen. What's that thing that you've, you told me before? The people that are the most successful. Right. Yeah, the most successful people are also the most available people. And the reason is if you're brand new at something, yeah. you're happy, go lucky, you're fresh, you're fired up. Yeah. If you're at the pinnacle, the top, you're happy. You got nothing to prove. In the middle, pain in the neck. <laughs> you're filled with <laughs> ego. So the key. And you're busy as hell. Right. Yeah. Jump to the front of the line. So for myself, I, when I wanted to write a book, I just went to Barnes and Noble. I bought every bestseller. I called those authors up and said, "Teach me." Here we are, 50 some odd books later, in 45 different languages. The whole idea is that you surround yourself with people that are getting the results you want. You can start getting them as well. Mm. Thank you for everything you do. I oh, appreciate you guys having me. See you, right on. <laughs> Ham bone, ham bone, ham bone. Right. <laughs> Let's go! Greg has learned so much directly from some of the most successful people in the world. Sitting down with him is always a deluge of great advice. Here's some food for thought. Sometimes you have to have the courage to let go so you can live to fight another day. Look for and capitalize on unexpected opportunity. Know what you want and have the flexibility to make it happen. Surround yourself with people who are getting the results you want and learn from them. Next time we return to Barney's Beanery with the visionary founder of Bluefish, Steve Sims, for a burger, a great conversation, and a game of pool. Bluefish caters to clients who want to live life to the fullest, no matter what the cost. Want to make a trip to the International Space Station? Want to take an underwater expedition to the Titanic? Steve's your guy. Learn all about Steve Sims' luxury concierge service next time right here on Business and Burgers.
Check out more episodes of Business and Burgers and our B&B blog at our website, businessandburgers.com. And don't forget, visit Business and Burgers on Facebook and give us a big thumbs up. We'll see you next time right here on Business and Burgers.